Hi, welcome back, boys and girls. Today we're going to read Pete the Cat's Train Trip by James Dean. Pete the Cat is going to visit his grandma. He gets to ride on a train. They're at the train station. Pete's mom buys three tickets. She gives one to Pete and one to his brother, Bob. It says tickets. Pete looks up at the big board. Our train is leaving at 10 o'clock, he says. A train speeds by. That's a cargo train, Bob tells Pete. Pete's train has arrived. All aboard, calls the conductor. Pete's mom finds three seats. I can't wait to see Grandma, says Bob. And I can't wait to explore the train, says Pete. The conductor comes to collect the tickets. Pete hands over his. I love trains, says Pete. I'll show you around, says the conductor. Pete follows the conductor from car to car as the floor rumbles under his feet. Wow, Pete says when they get to the caboose. We're going over a bridge. Pete says his mom and Bob. They are at the snack bar. I got this for you, says Bob. Snack bar. Pete follows the conductor. He goes to the front of the train. Come in, says the engineer. Wow, Pete says. The engineer shows him the engine. The engineer shows Pete the train brakes. There's a tunnel up ahead. As they go through the tunnel, Pete gets to honk the horn. Toot, toot! Everything is light again. Thanks for showing me around, Pete says. On his way back to his seat, Pete stops and makes new friends. They live in different towns. They are getting off at different stops. Pete played games. A little kid wears his hat. Pete sings a song. What a groovy ride! We get off at the next stop, says Pete's mom. Toot, toot. Pete looks out the window and sees... Grandma! Pete is the first one off the train. Pete's grandma gives him a big hug. It feels good. Pete loves riding the train, but he loves his grandma even more. The end. Hope you enjoy your story. Good night, boys and girls. See you tomorrow. I'm going to say see you tomorrow. I will.